Traditionally, people who live up to the expectations of the bosses and carry out their responsibilities are representatives of faithful workers known as yes-men. However, modern companies prefer those with creativity who raise their voices than the so-called yes-men because they are looking for workers who are self-motivated to think critically and ingeniously rather than obeying the orders from their bosses. In other words, those talents can turn rigid corporate culture into flexible one and develop new ideas. One of the priorities in having a creative mind is to think critically. Critical thinking refers to a thought process to arrive at a rational and logical conclusion without the obsessions of personal emotions and prejudices during the process of decision-making. In other words, you think outside your conventional frames and borders by identifying the situations from a variety of perspectives. From our history, we had exemplary figures who had displayed critical thinking. They are Huang He and Mei Sazong, who took care of King Sejong. King Sejong had been ill for a long time. That's why such creative minds as Huang He and Ming Sazong were recruited to manage internal affairs. Huang He carried out posts as the second vice premier, the first vice premier, and a prime minister, but never opened up his mouth at the official meetings. He always gave his final opinions after listening to that of others. Therefore, he never got into disputes with his subordinates and made very few mistakes because he heeded the voices of others in trying to figure out the circumstances. Thanks to his behavior, King Sejong firmly trusted him. One day, when Hong Hee was reading a book at his place, a dispute among female servants made one servant to speak out to him about the misconduct of other women. What she did is totally wrong. After listening to her, Huang Yi said, you are right. When another servant came up to him and said exactly the same thing, he also replied her with the same answer. Right after, a nephew who stood next to him said, you are not clear. Not both of them are right because they are different people. After listening to his nephew, he kept on reading by repeating the same sentence. You are right. This anecdote might make Huang He look like an indecisive person, but it clearly shows how difficult it is to make decisions by listening to one side only. In fact, Huang He made the right decision by exploring the problems from various perspectives with critical thinking. Meng Sazong, who was faithful to King Sejong, was civil administrator in the late period of the Koryo dynasty. His father was Meng Hee Do, who took government posts such as Cheng Yoryang, Sumun Chen Jehak, since the King Kongmin administration, and was a grandson in law of the general Chue Yang during the Koryo dynasty. One of his closest friends is Cheng Mongju, who was killed for his rebellion against the founding of the Chosun dynasty. Also, the grandfather of his wife put to death under the same charge for rebellion to the Tejo king, Li Songye. When Li Songye destroyed the Koryo dynasty and founded the Chosun dynasty, Meng Sasong, the descendant of a family still loyal to the Koryo dynasty, stuck at a crossroads. He was in a dilemma to forsake past principles and serve under Li Songye, or to be put to death to stand by the same principles as Cheng Mongju did. He must have given a lot of thought to the matter, drawing from multiple perspectives. In the end, neither did he get killed like Cheng Mongju in vain, nor did he band together with others for power in the court. He chose to be an ordinary citizen, rather than overlooking unfair matters for the sake of wealth and honor. People remain the same even with the changes of dynasty. That was the decision he made. Therefore, along with Huang He, Meng Sasong became one of the most exemplary figures of Cheng Bengli, the incorrupt government employees during the Chosun dynasty, and worked as the first vice premiers with his excellent work skills and personalities. Both Huang He and Meng Sasong never obeyed unconditionally or followed the footsteps of others. 
they were able to make right choices because they explored multiple perspectives and made decisions based on as much information as possible. For those who work in network marketing, critical thinking is significant. Those who want to enter into network marketing come with a variety of personalities, which makes it impossible to filter them into specific categories. When leaders do not recognize the variety of their partner's personalities and make wrongful decisions based on others' opinions, instead of critical thinking, the company will fall into a world of its own, being stuck with prejudices and stereotypes. To ensure leaders can promote rational and logical results for all, they should keep in mind that critical thinking is essential as one of their attitudes.